welcome back to Streetwise Garage. Um, today we have this S14 that we're going to be painting. Right now, um, I just went ahead and gave the car like a quick little wash, um, not an actual full on wash. I got um, a bottle of water with dish soap because it actually removes a bunch of the, uh, the grease and all the little minerals. So dish soap and water is definitely the best thing to do before you start prepping anything or else you're going to start mixing in all the dirtiness into uh, the paint and everything while you're sanding it. So it's going to be useless to even sand the car to begin with. So I just finished doing that. Um, right now I'm just going to go over and just kind of wipe down all the little like extra spots that didn't fully get like washed up real good. Um, I'm looking at first all the rough spots are going to have to get like a little bit of a deeper uh, sand. Like all in here is pretty like rugged. It's really deep. Everything else seems to be fine. It's just mostly the trunk right there. A little bit on the mirrors and um, go over some small little rock chips that this has. But before anything as well too, um, I'm going to have to go and do something under here to cover up this hole because he, the guy went ahead and got some hood latches instead of using the hood pins. But aside from that, I'm going to start with sanding the car. Usually I use a 600 grit because that just gets enough to remove the clear that was on the actual color. And I can go ahead and hit the primer and then start with the paint and everything. Because if you use any like thicker grit, it'll be fine. But you can just create scratches and you might see through the paint if you don't paint it properly. So best thing to do is go over through everything with 600 grit. Get everything sanded down and you'll be good to go. Um, once you're done sanding, uh, make sure to air everything down. And then go ahead and get the bottle of water with dish soap again. Kind of just like spray the car down. Just give it a good little quick wipe. And then um, get a tack rack which is one of these little things. Excuse all the mess, I gotta clean all that up. But it's one of these, they're kind of sticky and they remove a bunch of uh, grease as well. That's really good to use before you start painting. So once you clean it off and wash it off, you'll be fine. Cover everything up, start masking, and then before you start painting, go back and just kind of like use the tack rag before you start painting and you'll be perfect to go. So right now, I'm either gonna start with masking it up usually. I like to mask the car first and then start sanding because Sometimes uh, uh, when you're sanding it, all the dust and everything gets inside here. So it gets really difficult to uh, tape up sometimes. So usually it's better to tape it up before. But just be careful with that as well because if you haven't mashed up already and then you already sanded it, you might have uh, like a little bit of dust stuck in there as well once it's already mashed up. And if you don't air it out properly, when you're painting, you're going to start removing the dust out of it and it's going to ruin your entire paint job. So um, I normally start off with masking it up and then I go around with uh, sanding it so I'm gonna start with the masking first then I'm gonna go with the sanding so masking should be usually the fastest job usually uh, sometimes I also do start like I said sanding first just to kind of get the car just up and going ready and then I could just mask everything out and be a lot faster so I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do right now I just gotta look over everything first and I'll see where I start with everything else so I only found that the trunk is just the worst part that needs to be sanded down and the hood so Everything else should be good to go. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and start sanding it. I have a, let's see if I can find it. Um, I use a Cornwell uh, DA sander. It's air, um, use it, you know, obviously with air or whatever. This is uh, definitely good to use. I have a little spongy uh, little pad under and I use a 600 grit to get everything sanded down. Any stuff like this, you're gonna use a 180. Make sure you get everything all blended in. Once you're done with that, you're gonna go back with the 600 and go over and give it a pass. Make sure it's all nice and smooth. You'll be ready to start uh, prepping up. Usually it's always better to wear a mask. Make sure that this is covering, uh, obviously your face, where you're like breathing in while you're sanding. So always make sure to wear a mask while you're sanding, while you're airing everything out and while you're painting. Because if not, you're gonna screw yourself up in the future. Once you're done with the sanding, put your mask back on again and just air it out. This 
So now that you got everything sanded down, as you can see, I went over the little chips right there to the back. I completely sanded everything over here. Um, now that you got the, car, the entire car sand, you can start masking stuff up. The things I'm going to take off is usually going to be the mirrors. Um, over fenders are coming off, obviously, so I can paint under it. That's coming off. Um, door panels are coming off and everything, so just start masking up whatever you can. And then when you start getting into deeper spots, start taking off the door panels and everything. But for the time being, you can start masking everything, take off the tail lights, take off the headlights, get everything uh, prepped up and ready. So you can go and start masking now. And once you got everything uh, set up, once you got like enough time, go back and tack rag everything. Once you got everything completely masked up, tack rag it, and then you can start with your paintwork. So.